Welcome to the Massey Ferguson Compact and Subcompact Tractor Competitive Comparison. Competition is what makes better products, and that's what this video is about. We want you to see why Massey Ferguson tractors are leaders in quality, productivity, operator comfort, ease of service, and value. Let's get started. First up, the Massey Ferguson 1643 versus the New Holland 3040 T2310 and the Kubota 3940. Right up front, you can see the difference and feel the difference. The Massey Ferguson 1643 isolation mounted platform is wide and open with a sound and vibration insulating mat. Fit and finish is very high. Controls are mounted on the fenders for easy access. The loader joystick is an integral design. Other features not found on many New Holland or Kubota tractors are deluxe seat with adjustable armrests. Flashers mounted high with guards. A right hand step. All steel fenders and hood. Even the front axle and steering cylinder are more substantial. Need to clean the radiator screen? No problem. A gas strut lifts the all steel hood. Radiator screen, battery and air filter can be accessed in seconds. The hydro control pedals are easy to use. And when you want to make a tight turn, just hold the brake pedal on the left side and push the hydro pedal on the right side. Here's how it works in action. One more time, simple and effective. The New Holland 3040 T2310 tractors are a different story. No armrests on the seat, no right hand step. The platform has an unfinished look and no mat. Look under the seat. See the open ground? Not good. The control levers have no shielding or guides. We're not sure why New Holland has plastic fenders and hoods, but there must be a good reason. Maybe that's why it takes two struts to hold the hood in place. No guards on the flashers. The loader joystick appears to be an afterthought. The end diameter of the front axle is only 3.7 inches in diameter over an inch less than the Massey Ferguson 1643 bottom line. The New Holland 3040 T2310 tractors come up short against the Massey Ferguson 1643. Let's do some service checks on the Kubota 3940 before we start. Looks like this will take a while. We'll speed the tape up so we can get through the service checks. Side panels and the air filter have to be removed for access to the radiator and the nose piece must be removed for battery access. It's safe to say that servicing the Kubota takes more time than the MF1643. This is one cramped platform. Control levers placement? Below the seat and difficult to use while operating the tractor. No right hand step. No guards on the flashers. These low mounted lights won't do much good when you have a loader on. Hydro transmission tractors are the easiest to operate. Why would Kubota make it difficult? The hydro pedal requires awkward leg movement to operate. And if you want to use the brake in a brake turn, you have to bring your left foot across the platform. You've seen the best of New Holland and Kubota against the new Massey Ferguson 1643. When you total up the score, the MF 1643 is far ahead of the competition in operator comfort, quality, and performance. <laughs> 